So here you go, down to business indeed. These two young fighters quick to the centre. Cameron looking for the shoot, gets the takedown. Moves well. Nice low kick, catches his opponent. Cameron looking to dominate early, catches him again with a straight right. Max Smith taken to the ground. And again, Cameron strikes with a right hook. Cameron seems to be moving very smoothly. Great transitions between the strike into the wrestling. But Max Smith, he's standing tough, he's standing tough. He's weathered the early storm. Smith trying to find a nice shot to the head. Slips over. Go over the top. Cameron again, solid leg kicks. Good head movement. Dips underneath, beautiful takedown. Nolan, Nolan doing a tremendous job just transitioning from the striking to the takedown. Needs to watch oh, that oh, guillotine. He's Max Smith's got, Smith got it in there. tight. Cameron needs to fight the hands. He, sh he needs to concentrate. It does well, pops himself free. Gritted all the way through that and pulled himself out. Great job. Catches the leg. Smith walked to the cage. Eats a big left hook. Then a right hand. Nolan has done a great job of getting the takedown, but he hasn't actually been able to keep Smith down throughout this contest. Some good shots thrown. Another good low kick and good head movement again from Nolan. Seems to avoid Smith's shots, but didn't avoid that one. It's interesting to see if both fighters can maintain this pace. Neither of them seem to be slowing down so far. And then looking to reverse Smith, trying to control, but gets taken down again, quick back to his feet. This, this, this has been a theme throughout the entire of this first round. Nolan is able to get the takedown, but he is not able to keep Smith down. Smith with his hands really low, needs to be careful. And just as I said it, he's a big right and a big left. Smith looks like he's definitely feeling the pace of this round. Good body shots, good oh. combination. The crowd is so loud, we did not even realize it was the end of the round. Tremendous. Fantastic round for Nolan, dominated from the get-go. Literally, here's Smith as he tried to work that guillotine. And this was a fantastic escape. I was surprised here because I was expecting Nolan to fight the hands. Instead, he moved his body and turned himself out of it. Again, quick for the takedown. Big right, big left. Credit, credit to both fighters to be so young and to have so much composure in there when they're eating big shots, mixing it up between the hands and the takedowns. I think credit go to both. Very much a Cameron Nolan round. Interesting to see how they adapt to the second round. Smith changes tactics. Is Nolan going to keep coming forward? The end of the first round, Smith really looked like he was feeling the pace of it. So let's see if he gets his second win. Both fighters a little bit more composed as they come out. Exchange. And again, that leg kick from Nolan had success with that in the first round. And you can see the welts on Smith's legs from the earlier kicks. kick to the body. Nolan just seems to be a little bit more fluid. Just a little bit more fluid on the feet, a little bit more movement, a little bit more feints. Taking his time, dancing on the outside.
getting that leg kick. And again, big shot. Big bombs. Smith taking them well. He's been hit with a couple of big, heavy shots. Still in there, composed. Trying to walk his man down. Very, very different round, this round for the first. A lot calmer, I think. They both learned from the first round. It was a chaotic round. Yeah, nervous energy. It does that to you. So then now, now let's see here, in the first round, Nolan was pressing Smith up against the fence and was getting the takedown. But now you see the roles have been reversed. Let's see whether Smith can get this takedown on Nolan. If he's supposed to work. The head pressure from Smith is great, but he needs to work towards the takedown. Trying to turn himself out. Smith just controlling the hips there. Nolan possibly looking for a, a trip or a sweep. Oh, big bombs! Big bombs! End of the round. And listen, the same thing again, the same as the first round. The, the, the audience is so loud, we are barely hearing the, the bell for the end of the round. But definitely a completely different second round to the first round. Nice low kicks by Nolan again, just picking him off. Smith tried to dominate a little bit more in this round, had a little bit more control. A lot calmer than the first round, but Rob, who do you give the second round to? Second round for me was much tight, tighter, but I think Nolan again just outclassed his opponent that little bit more. Smith's done extremely well, but I just feel Nolan's tipped it. Going into this third round, we may actually be looking at Smith needing a knockout to win this. Nice left jab, straight down the centre. Same as the second, both fighters are a little bit more aware. So Nolan doing the same thing he was doing before on the outside, good movement, but from Smith, what I would love to see is a little bit more urgency, a bit of urgency, a bit more cutting him off. At the moment, he seems to be following him around the ring a little bit, but I would love to see him cut him off a little bit better and a bit of urgency. Smith starting to use his range now, just feeding that jab out, forcing Nolan to get on the inside. Big, Big shot. Big bomb from Nolan. Beautiful work. But Smith is wearing them very, very well. Nolan, I think he's starting to tire. We get into the third round. Smith, again, using that jab well, just popping it out, but he needs to keep his hands up. And, and from Smith, that is, that is exactly what he needs to take advantage of. Nolan is showing signs of fatigue. We need Smith to press. Now, this is what was not happening in the first round. Nolan would shoot in for the takedown, Smith would go down and he would get up. It's very rare that we saw in the first two rounds, Smith actually stuffing the takedown. Smith as well, just trying to work round for that guillotine. Change his tact. Now this here is that from Smith, I need to see a bit more urgency from him. I know it's a difficult position. Good work by Nolan to get himself out. And this is the moment from Smith, I would love to see him press. I need to see him press.
seems to be a, a problem with the uh, clock. Re professional as always, Dan, getting on top of things and getting it resolved so we can get back to the action. Nolan, great head movement. It's, he's had two very different rounds to his first round. As I said that, he gets a big takedown. <laughs> but he came think, out I explosive. think he heard you, Rob. I think he heard you, Rob. Beautiful, big knee to the body. Smith again, just pressuring on top. Trying to control Nolan. Smith seems to be wearing the shots great every single time. He seems to be defending well. When he gets taken down, he gets up. But it just seems that he seems to be a little bit behind, a little bit on the back foot when it comes to the exchanges. On the belt. That was a great opening fight. For road to victory here in Brighton. Great, great performance from Nolan. And I think Smith is going to learn a lot from this fight. I think you can see from the body language of both fighters who they think's won. I think Nolan gave a lot in that first round. He exploded. And then in the second, slightly slower. And in the third, managed to push the pace towards the end. For me, I think the referees will have it by way of Nolan. Yeah, Rob, I, I agree with you 100%. I think, I think Smith did a great job defensively. And I think he recovered from a lot of big shots. But I, I, I don't think enough was done. 